Hi. It is an area. I've got to think about this one. Um, Do you want to I'm, please. Okay. Uh, who am I? Beans with tea. <gasps> Tim, Tom, <laughs> Tim, Tom, yeah. Tom. 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 Tom Hooper? Hopper. That's the one. Uh, Tom Hopper, and uh, I play Percival. Sir Percival. Don't forget it. <laughs> I'm Eddie Tommy White Eden, and I play Sir Elian. I'm Rupert Young, and I play Sir Leon. You were in a strand then, or something. I was thinking, <laughs> that's drama. Yeah. Brilliant, and now Merlin is, um, so many seasons have gone past already. Were you expecting that from when you first were cast in the show? Uh, well, well, you're the longest standing. Yeah, so, so you know, um, um, yeah, I, I joined in series two, and I, and I, I think after seeing the first one, they were, I remember in the read through for series two, everyone was so excited the fact that it was a second series, and I don't think anyone knew it was going to be as popular as it was, and it's just got more and more popular every year. It gets bigger and bigger, and you don't expect it, and you don't expect the show to improve as much as I think it has. It does seem to be one of those rare shows that does just get better and look better, and it's more exciting. So. Um, when you film it, you realise it's going to be successful. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> because you see, like every year you come back and go, wow, that's really cool. Or you watch a take back, or you read a script, or and you go, this should be. And that's something seriously goes wrong. Personally, I look at it and look at Rupert and think, God, he's so hot. <laughs> How can fans not like this? He looks good in that yeah. chain mail. And everyone this, else this is a looks at Tom and thinks, where is your chain mail? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, so you're coming into the new series soon, you're filming it at the moment? Uh, Not yeah. right now, this, well, is, right, this is actually somewhere else. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yes, we have started filming. Yeah. And so are you on location in France as well, or are you to and fro, or do you do it in one go, or any other? Yeah, we sort of do it in stints really, we, we have a period where we're... It's just outside Paris, stints. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well done. It was going to be through. Yeah, cut that. Okay, cut that. <laughs> um, start again. We have uh, stints. <laughs> we have stints in uh, in France. And we, we have stints in, in Wales. A lot of Wales. Um, Wales. Mostly Wales. Wales. Mostly Wales. Yeah. 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 Majority of the times in Wales. Yeah. And the, the my amazing castle that's in in the show is that is that one of the French sets or you know the interior is that all filmed in France or is that in Wales or. That is a that is a that is a French chateau. It's like a it's, it's a real I mean, castle. It looks it looks like what it you know that's actually what it looks like in real life. It's quite amazing. Mm. Um, I think that's probably why they chose it. It's a sort of a f real life tale. working castle. Yeah, fairy tale castle. And it never ceases to amaze you. You drive up and see this thing. And it's inc I mean, it's incredible. A lot of people think it's CGI because it's so spectacular, but it's it's real. Yeah, <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah. And uh, your characters have all been through a lot in the last couple of series, and especially last series. I'm not sure if all of you are going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. What about, what about the coming series? Is the feeling the same? It's, I think it's you're always the same. You're going to have to watch Wait and See. Yeah. Yeah. We're on, it's that thing of last year, every time a script came out, we would go, okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Yeah. And I died twice anyway and come back. So I, I was worried last year because I survived it. I was going, Leon oh. the Immortal. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we, you never know. We don't get told too much about it. So. It is almost yeah. as much of a surprise for you as it is for us. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite good. And yeah. um, in the last series, we actually saw the the round table. What did you think when you, you read that in the script, or you saw, or you saw it? Were you like, this is the time, this is it? Yeah, I mean, the round table yeah. was actually the episode that I first came into it, so it was sort of uh, a kind of it almost became part of the show that I was joining. Really, that all of a sudden it's like, right, we're here the nights. You know, the first one I came in was. We would join together. So. I guess I I didn't expect it. What's going on? Um, yeah, I thought it would be. I thought it would be the centerpiece of the beginning of the next series. Um, but they uh, yeah they pulled the fast one. It's good. They threw everyone off a little bit there. But it's still very exciting when you're dressed as a knight and you're around a round table. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> this is kind of cool. And um, you you know Anthony Head was in the, all of the series, and then were you surprised by what happened to his character what? in the last series? Oh, wait, well, without giving too much away. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, you are. Because you think I mean, it's him. He's the big name after Tom. Um, <laughs> that you think, you know, uh, it was one of those things that was difficult. Um, no, it was, it was very. Uh, yeah, it was really. It was really sad. And, you know, he's an amazing guy to have on set and mm. an amazing character. So it was a shock to all of us when we read that. Um, and what's it like working with the the actors who have you know such as um, the um, Anthony Head? Sorry, I lost his name for a sec. Um, you know, learning from 
they've been in the show business for longer, is that really good for yourselves, for your own Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and it's really interesting seeing, you know, seeing how, how they work and operate on set. Um, and uh, I think I'm always pleasantly surprised at well, how good they are. You know, kind of in the rehearsals or uh, in and around uh, the set, they can be sort of, I mean, this isn't going very well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think but they, because they've been doing it a long time as well, and you can uh, come across, but it's amazing how they create the atmosphere on set, so they're respectful to everyone, they teach, you can't, no one can act like a diva because they are so down to earth, and they're, him and Richard are at the top of the game, so as they're so respectful, no one can throw their weight around, so they are, they do teach you a lot. And what's remarkable is how, how they seem to be able to sort of switch it on, they seem mm. to be able to kind of uh, contribute uh, outside of, you know, of, of being on camera and then when the, you know, when, when the camera rolls, like they, they sort of uh, seemingly whip out a uh, performance out of nowhere, yeah. which is quite amazing. Okay. Do you work with the character arc? Um, well, a lot of these, because it, 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 it's difficult with this show sometimes because you get your script quite late on before we shoot it and stuff, so you, you never really know where your character is going. But um, when when you get the script, it's 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 interesting because you have to you have to figure out where your your storyline is going sometimes because you you don't get the scripts, so it's it's always quite tough. Um, yeah, I think the arc is 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 a little bit out of your control. Right? Yeah. So you you know that's sort of predetermined, predetermined, and then you you sort of work within that basically. Um, um, I think you probably have the most opportunity. Uh, when you first come into the show, because uh, you're creating something out of out of nowhere, and all you can do is work with the information that you have mm. to create as as rounded a figure as you can, and then carry that through the sort of what what the you know life throws at you. <laughs> but I think we all have you know you have a process, and you you know you do a lot of work for yourself, and then so you know you don't come and say this is my story, and this is a bit for yourself, just to give you a place you in reality and know where you are. And I think also the way that What's been great with seeing the writers, and whether it's a coincidence or not, which I don't think it is, is how we've all, all the our kind of relationship off camera, they've managed to get into the, into the show. So us mocking each other in real life, you see the characters start doing that, or it is that kind of brotherly thing. We can wind each other up, but also make each other laugh. And, you know, it's that. That's what's been quite nice. So it's not that we. I think our relationship on camera is, you, you is, has been determined from us. So. Yeah, and. Um, with the costumes that are on there, you know, some fantastic costumes. The chainmail, is it really heavy to wear? We get asked this all the time, yeah, it's, it's fairly weighted, isn't it? I guess it's the thing is, it's lighter than it would be if it was made of steel, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't but it's still, still pretty... It, it was something like 15, was it 15 pounds or something? 15 pounds? It must be heavier than that. Wasn't it like 25 pounds or something? <laughs> It's pretty heavy. It's, it's you know, at the, the end of a you know twelve hour shooting yeah. day, you know you're relieved to take it off. Yeah. The fun game though is that if it's really cold, it, it, you get really cold. If it's boiling, the sun's out. Is if you just lift it's it, like a radiator. Up, I mean, literally yeah. burn you. Yeah. Yeah. So it is heavy, and it's hard to get on. You need someone to help you <laughs> get it off. If you can see, it's been put on. We don't know very very night. Night. Yeah. Yeah. There's a cool. reason that knights had squires. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. well, yeah. you know, you've got to act in that, and you know, swing your swords around. Is it difficult to like manoeuvre in it, or is it actually have they made it so it's comfortable to do so? You get used to it. Those are a few things that you do go. Oh, this is quite hard. It looks great, but yeah. I can't lift my arms up. Or, but yeah. you, you, you know, you suddenly go, well, they would have had to. Have I say when we wear the capes, that's the, capes. the hardest thing to manoeuvre in. Because they're they twice the length, as I'm around. running and yeah, you know, and you like catch your foot on the They look great when you're galloping out of Camelot. <laughs> and otherwise it would be problematic. Yeah, practically. Yeah, yeah, when the sword go, it's like, yeah, it's great. And the, the special effects on the show have um, got considerably better as the series has gone on. What's it like, you know, acting around something you can't see, perhaps? <laughs> I did a Funny. skeleton fight a while mean? ago, and it's weird. That was you start fighting with someone, then they step out, and you feel like an idiot. Yeah, and you go, you kind of. I had to say, is this what was that doing? Yeah, it's really nice. That's good. Very Thanks. good. That's what I did. But you feel like you suddenly have a moment going, is this just you having a laugh, or is this actually <laughs> going to make it? You just mock you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then you feel there's a right of stuff. Thing that you have, uh, yeah, you get sort of little, uh, you know, like. Uh, plastic toy snakes' heads or something. You know, there's someone's waving in front of you, saying, oh, "Okay, this is what's going on." And you're, mm. you're sort of looking and thinking, "Really?" Yeah, like Owen, who plays Green, he had a 
a yeah, thing yeah, I yeah. seen where there was, it was a tongue licking him and he had this green thing just going. Uh, yeah, exactly. In his face. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I just had it also. Uh, um, but then you, but also you'll then go, you'll be talking, right, you've got this amazing thing flying towards you and you're really scared and you're like trying to kill it. And you go, right, okay. And then when you watch the episode, you go, oh, that's what it was. Wow, God, that yeah. is terrifying. <laughs> Can we do By that again? Yeah. <laughs> <So, yeah. laughs>